Hey guys, it's me, Mimi. I'm back for another new video. And today's video is going to be a very special one. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to make a video about my streaming and recording setup. So without further ado, here it is. Before we begin, I just want to say that it took me a few months to find suitable parts and to learn where to properly place all of these components. I didn't want to mess anything up because it was my first ever build. We'll start with the heart of the setup, the computer. I have an Intel Core i7-8700K, overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz, paired with an MSI Z370 motherboard. In order to prevent any thermal throttling, I decided to install a Corsair H115i Pro CPU cooler, which keeps my CPU at a stable temperature even during the most demanding processes. Next, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080, which is my favorite component of the build. It makes every gaming experience smooth like butter or ice cream. For example, it lets me reach frame rates at or above 240 FPS in games like Fortnite, even while streaming. Sitting next to the CPU, we have 32 gigabytes of RAM overclocked to 3200 megahertz. This RAM comes in handy when we have to edit especially large video files like this one. As far as internal storage goes, I have two M.2 SSDs, a one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo, and one 500 gigabyte Samsung 970 Evo. These allow me to boot up my games as quickly as possible and reduce time spent waiting in the loading screens. The entire computer is powered by an 850 watt EVGA supernova power supply, which is located in the bottom of the case over here. Last but not least, all of my computer parts are housed in this wonderful NZXT H500 case. Psst. I chose the white one so it wouldn't look so dusty. Don't tell my dad. <laughs> now that we're finished talking about the computer stuff, let's talk about the peripherals. In order to achieve the best gaming experience possible, I have a 27 inch 240 Hertz LG gaming monitor with a one millisecond response time. This is supplemented by two 27 inch ASUS monitors. These other two monitors help me keep track of chat, Discord, and OBS while streaming. I'm a stickler for good audio, so I have a Sennheiser HD 598 SR headset, which I use while streaming, and a Sennheiser Game One Open Acoustic Gaming headset that I use for casual gaming off stream. Over here, I have a Fnatic Mini Streak mechanical keyboard with silent red switches and a Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum gaming mouse. All of these sit on top of a beautiful extra extra large world map mouse pad. I use an Audio Technica AT2020 XLR mic, which sits on a Rode PSA1 mic stand and is connected to a Roland VT3 audio interface. These items help my voice sound crisp and clear throughout the streams and recordings. For those of you wondering how my keyboard cam works, I have a Logitech C920 1080p webcam that is located right above my chair. The good news is that I'm not tall enough to actually hit my head on it. One of my current pet projects is working on creating new background music for the channel. For that, I've been using Logic Pro on my MacBook. It's challenging, but I think I'll figure it out eventually. And lastly, I have my Huiyang tablet for my digital drawings. I hope one day I'll incorporate my drawings into the thumbnails for you guys to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup tour. I had an awesome time making it. If you guys have any questions about my gear or anything else, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!